Hi everyone. Wind energy training system is a compact scaled down version of an actual wind turbine standalone power plant. The system enables a user to study wiring and interconnections of different components involved in the system to develop a basic understanding of working and operation of a standalone wind turbine. Through the help of experiments, a student can understand underlying principles of wind turbine system, its applications in standalone system by doing various experiments. The system also provides scope for further research. This system is an indoor unit which utilizes a fan to act as an artificial wind source. That fan is connected with an induction motor whose speed can be controlled via a variable frequency drive. As the wind speed can be controlled, the generation from wind turbine can also be controlled which makes the system to be used indoors. In this video, we will talk about how a wind generation system works in real life, what are the components involved, what are the factors affecting the performance of the system and what experiments one can perform using this system. This is the wind energy training system. It is designed in such a way that it can work indoors as well as outdoors. The system comes with a 400 watt PMSG wind turbine. This turbine is derived by the wind generated from wind generating unit. The system can be divided into three parts, wind generation system, wind turbine and the control and measurement unit. The wind generation system is a fan mounted on induction motor driven with a variable frequency drive to control its speed. By changing the frequency of the motor using VFD, we are able to control the wind speed. The system is able to generate wind speed up to 20 km per hour. This is the VFD through which we can control the speed of this induction motor and hence the speed of the fan. Now coming to the second part, the wind turbine part. This is a 400 watt horizontal axis 3 blade wind turbine, the output of which is getting connected to the control unit. The turbine produces three phase AC output and the RPM of turbine is measured by a magnetic sensor which is also connected to the control unit. You can see three wires and a sensor going inside the control unit. Now coming to the control unit, the three phase output from the wind turbine is getting converted to DC using a rectifier. This rectified output is going to the input of the charge controller and the output of the charge controller is getting connected to the battery. The battery is further connected to the inverter. The system comes with 200 watt step DC load and the AC load is connected to the AC power socket which is connected at the output of the inverter. This measurement unit has 8 meters, 8 DC meters in which 4 are emitters and 4 are voltmeters. There is a single phase power analyzer which is connected at the output of the inverter and this yellow part you are seeing, the yellow unit you are seeing is the anemometer which records the wind speed data. Now let's start with the demonstration. To start the system we can enter the desired frequency where the plus button increases the frequency, minus button decreases the frequency. The FWD button rotates motor in forward direction and the REV button rotates motor in the reverse direction. As soon as we press the FWD, the motor will start running. Now we can see uh, the motor has started running, there is already a wind speed generated but the turbine is stable. The turbine is not moving. This is because the wind speed is below the cut-in speed. Now as we increase the wind speed, we can see this will push the turbine to move. 
let's increase the speed a bit more and you can see the turbine started rotating now as soon as the turbine starts rotating we can see it will start generating the power as we can see here 3.8 amperes is generated at 13.1 volt now because there is no load connected all the power is getting transferred to the battery and battery is getting charged with 3.7 ampere current now let's switch on a dc load as soon as we switch on the dc load the power generated by wind turbine is now divided into the divided between the dc load and the battery if we increase more dc load we can see the battery current going to zero and the whole power is getting transferred to the dc load now if, if we switch on the inverter we can see now inverter also started use, using the power and battery current is going to negative so the negative current indicates the battery is discharging we can switch on the ac load to see the ac power now this whole power generated by wind turbine is getting distributed between all the loads and we can record the wind speed using the anemometer we can also record the rpm value using the rpm meter and this is how we can see the system is working right now uh, the battery is giving negative 14 amperes current which means the power generated by wind turbine is less than what is consumed by the load and this is how the system works there is one more way to charge the battery there is an external cord through which we can charge this battery okay so this is the data logging software of the wind energy training system and it resembles exactly same as the measurement unit from here we can run the system but before running the system we have to provide a file path uh, and the file will be saved in the .csv format here we can set the time the delay time so if we want our data to be recorded every minute we can set it to one if we want our data to be recorded every five minutes we can set it to five or whatever value we like then we have to start logging this is for date and timestamp uh, here you can see this is similar to the measurement unit so here you will get information current and voltage information of the power produced by the wind turbine or you can see the rectified output uh, here we, uh, we will see the current and voltage measurement of battery here we will see the current and voltage measurement of the dc load and here we will see the current and voltage measurement of the power consumed by the inverter this is the ac section so here we can see active power reactive power and apparent power so whatever ac load we connect with the inverter all the information about that load will be displayed here here we can see the rpm rpm of the wind turbine and here we can see the battery soc so this is all about the data logging unit what experiments we can perform with the system we can evaluate the efficiency of the charge controller we can determine the cutting speed of the wind turbine experimentally we can evaluate the tip speed ratio at different wind speed we can evaluate the coefficient of performance of the wind turbine then we can draw the curve between turbine power versus wind speed we can draw the curve between tip speed ratio versus coefficient of power we can draw the power curve of turbine with respect to rotational speed of rotor at fixed wind speeds we can demonstrate uh, because as it is a standalone system we can demonstrate the power analysis at the wind turbine output and we can demonstrate the power analysis at different branches of wind turbine energy system with ac load only and with dc load only we can also do the same experimentations with combined loads so this is all about the system thank you <music>